Hello and welcome. Today's video is my thoughts on the MCU from Phase 1 all the way to Spider-Man Far From Home and what I... how I feel the future is gonna go. So we'll kick this video off with uh, Phase 1. Uh, you know, started with Iron Man, ended with the Avengers. Uh, I thought... I thought it was pretty solid overall. Other with a couple exceptions, but uh, we'll go a little deeper into each movie. So Iron Man kicked off the MCU. Uh, I've loved this movie since I was a kid and first saw it. Uh, kind of kept my love for comic books alive between being a kid and when I actually started reading them when I was 19. Uh, not much else I can really say. I mean, even even now when I watch it back, it's still a pretty still a great movie. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. obviously killed it as Iron Man because he did it for over ten years after that. So yeah, The Incredible Hulk I didn't see until a few years after it had come out, and I don't know. I didn't hate it, but it wasn't good. And like it wasn't great, but it wasn't I don't know. I didn't feel it was terrible or even that really that bad, but it's it's just kind of there, you know. It's kind of hanging out on its own. <laughs> Especially cuz he got recast a f few years later. Yeah. All right, Iron Man 2, I I did really enjoy more when I first saw it as a teenager more because I think I was a little more blinded by my love for the first one I mean don't get me wrong there's there's some wicked parts in that movie and it's still a pretty good movie but it's not watching it back is not as good as I remember so Thor I wasn't a fan of I thought it was kind of, I don't know, I thought it was kind of boring, I didn't really, I just wasn't really into the character, and even I tried watching it back and I still just don't really, just don't really like the first Thor movie, so that's all I have to say about that one. I also like that it kind of fleshed out Tony dealing with being Iron Man now. So that was that was pretty cool to watch too. Um, but that's all I have to say on that one. So on to the next. Captain America the First Avenger I surprisingly loved considering I'm not I'm not a huge Captain America fan. Uh, I think a big reason for me was the World War II setting I guess. Because that's, for me, that's where I feel the character makes the most sense. But, uh, yeah, that's, I don't know. It was, it was really good. Chris Evans did really good. And, you know, I don't, <laughs> I thought the origin was really well done. And I also feel the action was really well done. And, yeah, overall, good movie for a character I'm not a huge fan of, so. The Avengers was was really good. It was, I feel it really showed what they are capable, what they were capable of doing with the franchise. And they've kind of, kind of proved that over, or since. Um... Iron Man might have started the MCU, but the Avengers, if the Avengers had performed like Justice League had, it, we wouldn't be talking about it right now. It wouldn't, I don't think it would have been as big of a thing as it is now. Don't get me wrong, I like Justice League. I, my first video on my channel is me talking about 
the things I liked about Justice League. But it did have a lot of problems. And if the MCU had any of those issues, they wouldn't be where they are now. So, Phase 2. When uh, Phase 2 came out, or kind of first started, I don't know, after Iron Man 3, I was just kind of bored with comic book movies, so I wasn't, wasn't really, don't really have the greatest look on some of these ones coming up, but I haven't even watched a couple of them, but yeah. Iron Man 3 was definitely the worst of the Iron Man movies, but still wasn't, you know, horrible. Uh, you know, showing de- or showing Tony dealing with, uh, you know, the stress of what happened after the events of the of Avengers. I never really minded the whole, you know, man Mandarin reveal. I I thought that was kind of funny to be honest. Um, it was mostly the ending that kind of killed it for me. I didn't really. I don't know. It just seemed rushed and un- anticlimactic. I don't know. I mean, it has been a bit since I watched it, so I don't know. Maybe my opinions will change, but uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I've never watched Thor The Dark World. I... I don't know. Like I said, I didn't like the first one, and I heard of, I've heard nothing but bad things about the second one. So I just can't bring myself to watch it. So that's that's it for that one. Captain America: The Winter Soldier is probably one of my favorite in the MCU. Um, possibly because it's more of a spy action movie than a average comic book movie. And still, once again, Captain America, character I'm not really that into, having one of the best movies in the MCU, in my opinion. Guardians of the Galaxy, I didn't watch until much later, because... I don't know, I just stopped watching movies in general. I just didn't really have have the time or just didn't really care about any of the Marvel movies coming out at the time. I knew nothing about the Guardians. I hadn't really started reading comics quite yet. I think I might have. I don't remember. I don't remember. But uh yeah, I didn't watch the first one until right around the second time the second one had come out, or was about to come out. But I really enjoyed the first one. I I thought it was really funny. I thought they introduced the characters well. And I was kind of excited for the second one when I first saw the first one. But we'll get into that later. Age of Ultron was okay. I... It was another one that I didn't watch until until the Civil War trailer that revealed that Spider-Man was joining the MCU came out. That was kind of what brought me back into the MCU, I guess. But we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, yeah, it was... I mean, it set up a lot of things for the future. Like, like uh, them having to split up. And it was good for that, but I don't know. I wasn't even when I watched it or rewatched it recently. It's still just kind of there. Ant Man also kind of came out around the time I wasn't really watching comic book movies or movies at all. But I don't know. I just I still haven't gone back and re and watched it at all. No. I don't know why. I love Paul Rudd. And it sounds like like everyone's told me that it's a good movie. I just haven't have never gotten around to watching it. 
unfortunately. I should, I should really do that one of these days, I guess. <laughs> so I realized after filming phase one and two that it would be a very long video if I did all of it in one. So phase three and the future will be my next video. But if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want more. Like if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked. And uh, I'll see you later.